So I begin the base bevel process with my straight edge or flat bar. I can either sight through it to inspect the condition of the base and the edge and or I use a little light rubbing technique which allows me to read the base. By rubbing lightly across with the straight bar, I can then come back and take a look at the mark that I've made. And if the mark shows that I've got good contact edge to edge, I know that my base is flat and I can begin my base beveling. I start with a base bevel guide. This guide happens to be a one degree, but they come in 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 1, 1.5, and, and 2 degrees. There's Delrin feet on the guide that glide on base material right next to the base edge, and then there's a metal portion that glides down the center of the ski. This helps keep the ski safe and protected from damage while you're setting the bevel. The file that I use is a medium chrome file. It's 13 teeth per centimeter, and I always want to make sure that the tang of the file or the round edge of the file is pointing away from the edge that I'm working on. I'll set the file onto the guide and I will constantly be moving the file further out the guide to make sure that I'm not dragging debris that I've already filed back into the base. I set my finger on top of the edge I'm trying to file, my index finger, I put my thumb behind it to support it, and then with my opposing hand I set my other index finger down on top of the file over the gliding part of the guide and I gently pull in one direction overlapping strokes until I feel I'm not getting any more edge material onto the file. You can see here that I've got a little pile up of just edge material. That's all metal. There's no base at all. If I start to see base material, I'm pushing too hard or I've made too many strokes. I'll move the file further out so it takes me onto a clean part of the file and I'll continue to file the ski with overlapping strokes until I feel like I've got my one degree fully set. I'll know I've got my one degree fully set when the file starts to lightly sing over the ski. I brush through the ski to make sure all the debris is cleaned off. Now I'm going to confirm the angle that I've set. There's two ways to do this. One is by feel with the base bevel guide, just knowing that the file is no longer pulling. But to confirm it, use your straight edge, sight through, and look right above the edge and you will see light coming through where the bevel has been determined. The next step is to blend the filing together using a 400 grit wet or dry paper on top of my base bevel guide. So I grab a water, spray it on the ski, the water helps to make sure that the paper cuts cleanly and smoothly, it keeps the temperature down and it keeps the paper clean, it helps everything run smoothly so I'm not marring the ski or doing any damage to the base smooth overlapping strokes to help blend together the work I did with the file. The end goal is a highly polished edge that will move cleanly across the snow. After I've got that accomplished, I will take my polishing stone, which is a ceramic stone that's very fine, again with a little bit of water, and I'm going to work bi-directionally up and down the edge, blending any of the work I did polishing with the paper. So the idea here is to polish up the edge make it smooth and clean and polished so that it moves very quickly on the snow.